everyone, I'm Hana Fuad. If you're new here and you don't know me, my channel is about creating a video and 3D designs. And today's video is gonna be about like something different, which is creating a glass roof. If you have like a garden area and a swimming pool and you want to just cover it and you need a brightness, so it's a simple way I'm gonna show you in a four steps. And if you are new here again, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and please turn on the notified uh, the bell to get notified when I upload a videos. So this is the previous one I have made it. It's look like this. I'm gonna show you a similar way in the four steps. So I will move it a little bit away to work on it. Okay, let's have it here. So the first step we're gonna go to the shell tool, click on it, and then. If you want to fix other things, which is the structure, I am okay with this one. And then the thickness, I'm I'm going with 100. Again, going to the surface color. So I'm going to the gloss clear fast. So I'm okay with that. Another part, which is you want to edit these colors, the thing. I'm going with the black one. Okay, almost done. Okay. And then we're gonna go to this one also, the geometric method. Click on this one, this is the more important part. So then you're gonna click on this area to this, the point, and then to the other edge part, and here also. And then it is closed, right? So this is how it's look like. And after that, I will decrease the height of this curve down till the wall click on this one carve edit so I will go down like this okay in the first step we are done with that another thing yeah I have to mention it which is um flipping it up yeah that's all so the first step is all done the second step we're gonna go to the ground floor okay this is how it's look like so i'm gonna go to the deck man uh polyline tools and click on this one and then we'll draw over here till this area and then again from here to this point to get into the shape so click on the, the lines i just want to select them to move it to another area so Control plus d put it here okay so after that we're gonna go to the design slab so I will draw a slab over here which is around like in a vertical shape which is around 100 okay click on this slab uh, make it up and click on this one to work on the colors and everything I'll make this one black I prefer black because it's gonna be more visible for me that's why and then I will go with here a wood, which any color you wanted. I'm okay with wood to make it more darker, that's why. So after that, uh, the thickness is no matter at the moment, but I will do Control plus Shift plus D to make another one copy. And then rotate it, Control plus E. And move it up, and then click on this to adjust the place. Yeah, the place, and then make to the till the end part which is this one okay you are done we have two now yeah so the vertical one i'll click on it and then click at this part and i will have here multiple so i'll click on drag and then we're gonna go to distribute and i will need around six okay so I'll click on this area and then drop it to the end part and then okay the second one, click on this, the same part. I'll just make four, the horizontal one, but I will go to the, not the end, but here. Because the curve, my shell tool is gonna stop over here, that's why. So let's see on the 3D how it's look like. This is how it is. Okay, then the first step we are all done with that, okay? uh I'll, the main part for me now like i'm gonna show you which is 
increase the height of it okay okay and then i will just remove the lines i don't need to increase or work on it over here okay increase the height uh till around like three nine zero yeah let's see it is increased okay and then i will go to the design not design uh, i mean edit and then grouping and then make a group that's all so after that i will move this one Control plus d and put it over here okay so let's rotate so this is how it look like yeah so we finished with the first step which is drawing the shell tool the second it is drawing the slab which is look like a, a wall and then the third step which is gonna do another thing which is going to design solid element operation so the third step is gonna be solid element operation so we click on the this one which is make it group the wall slab i'll make it a target and then the slab the slab will be operation and then click on the intersection and it's cute and that's all it is so simple yeah see how it's look like But I will adjust the wall. Here there is a little bit of mistake which is I'm gonna show you. I will go back. Okay. Here I'm gonna go to the ground floor. Check this one. It is not adjusted. So I will gonna go to again back a little bit. Yeah. So let me see how it looks like in the front. Yeah, it's good now. Again go to the back. Uh, design cell so, or a solid element operation and click on the wood target and then click on the shell tool operation intersection look this is simple and easy so the after that we are finished with the three steps the third step will be to make it more easier for you which is we select this object huh? right so i'm gonna go to the file tool and library an object and save it as object okay i'll write here roof glass roof i mean save okay we are done here and then you kind of get it here over here object 2 going to the object and here i wrote what well, not this one i wrote glass roof yeah click on it and insert it so simple i'll move it a little bit here and i mean yeah hold on This is how it's look like so it is simple steps and four steps and fast and easy and if you have any questions you can comment below and if you have any suggestions to create for you another tutorial you want to see it you can also tell me to design for you and show you in a tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe and like and share and thank you for watching